Today's video is about the 10 things buyers will hate about your house. If you're selling your home, it's vital to understand what can turn buyers off and ruin a sale. Whether you're new to selling or have done it before, knowing these buyer turnoffs can give you an edge. So let's dive right in and make sure your home stands out for all the right reasons. Welcome and thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay updated with the latest and best real estate tips in any market. Now let's keep going. Bad smell, no sell. Nothing sends buyers running faster than unpleasant odors, which can stem from various sources like smoking, pets, or strong cooking smells. Aromas from spicy foods and heavy seasonings or lingering food odors can be just as discouraging as cigarette smoke or pet smells, as they may seep into carpets or walls, discouraging potential buyers on making an offer on your house. Since you might be used to the smells of your own home, it's essential to get an unbiased opinion. Invite a friend or your realtor to give an honest assessment of any odors. For pet odors, consider relocating pet areas and thoroughly cleaning the carpets. If there's been smoking inside, a fresh coat of paint is often necessary but might not be sufficient. If odors persist despite cleaning and painting, the problem may require professional intervention. Strong stubborn smells often necessitate the services of a professional deodorizer or odor removal service. These experts can neutralize odors, ensuring they don't detract from your home's appeal. This treatment can cost around $500, but if you do have a strong smell in your house, it's worth every penny. When it comes to cooking, avoid using strong spices and condiments in the days leading up to showings. Opt for simpler meals to prevent food smells from settling into your home. It's also important to note that while scented candles, potpourri, or air fresheners may seem like quick fixes, they often merely mask the underlying issue. These can make savvy buyers suspicious of what odors you're trying to cover up. Just focus on completely eliminating the source of the odor, even if it requires professional help. So when buyers walk in, they scent a fresh and inviting atmosphere. When house hunting, there's nothing quite like stepping into a space that's light and bright. Why? Because light has the power to make a room feel welcoming, larger, and more open. Unfortunately, one of the top deal breakers for home buyers is walking into a home and finding dark, dreary rooms. It's like night and day, literally. In my vacant listings, I take it a step further. I actually have the seller remove the curtains altogether to let every possible ray of sunshine in. And if the place has blinds, unless they're in perfect condition, they're out too. Here's the real deal. Darkness is depressing to most humans by nature. We're just wired to crave light. So remember, whether you're selling or just sprucing up, let there be light. Maximizing natural light can be a game changer. Consider lighter paint colors, strategically placing mirrors, or updating window treatments to invite more sunshine in. Because in the world of real estate, a bright room not only lifts spirits, but can also elevate property value. So light it up and watch potential buyers fall in love with your space. When getting a house ready for the market, choosing the right paint color is very important. Bright colors can be too much for potential buyers. To make your home appealing to the widest pool of buyers, I suggest using neutral colors. For my listings, I find Sherwin-Williams Modern Gray works great. It's a warm gray that leans more towards beige. Pairing it with white ceilings and white trims gives the entire house a cohesive and spacious feel. This neutral palette makes rooms look bigger and more inviting, helping buyers imagine themselves living there. Even kids' themed designed rooms and bathrooms should be painted in neutral colors to remove personal taste and attract more buyers. This strategy not only makes the space look better, but also follows expert staging advice, boosting the home's market appeal and potentially increasing the selling price. When you're preparing to sell your house, it's helpful to start thinking of it not as your home, but as a product you're trying to sell. This shift in mindset will make it easier to depersonalize the space, which is crucial for attracting potential buyers. It's no longer about decorating to reflect your personal tastes. It's about setting up the house to sell for the best possible price. 
This means removing all personal items like photos and religious objects, even political signs. Try to keep it simple, kind of like hotel rooms. They are designed to be neutral and universally appealing. The goal is to create an environment that anyone could imagine themselves living in. Once you've sold the house, you can bring your personal style back into your new home. Remember, your realtor wants you to get the best price for your home and to have it appeal to as many buyers as possible. If you prefer to keep personal items like religious symbols on display, just let your realtor know. However, be prepared for the possibility that it may take longer to sell your home. You might also find the pool of buyers is smaller and you might even have to accept a lower selling price in the end. Ultimately, buyers want to see a clean, neutral space where they can imagine their own furniture, decorations, and personal touches, which is difficult when they are constantly confronted with the seller's stuff. A neglected yard can significantly impact a potential buyer's first impression since it's the first thing they see when they pull up to your home. A tidy, well-manicured yard suggests that the home is well cared for. To boost your home's curb appeal and increase its market value, clean up the yard, remove weeds, plant attractive flowers, and spread fresh mulch. But that's not all. You also need to tidy up by hiding eyesore items like garbage cans, garden tools, and lawn mowers. A clean and well-manicured outdoor space not only signals pride of ownership, but also helps potential buyers envision the lifestyle and entertainment possibilities of the home. It's important to know that many of today's home buyers prefer hard surfaces and not wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. Hard surfaces like hardwood, tile, or luxury vinyl plank, known as LVP, are popular because they look cleaner and are easier to maintain. They also give off a modern vibe. Carpets, while cozy and great for reducing noise, can raise concerns about cleanliness and allergies. But simply put, it's also a trend of the past, making a house look dated. To enhance your home's appeal, consider replacing carpet in high traffic areas, such as the living room and dining room area, with LVP. This flooring option not only mimics the elegant look of hardwood, but also offers durability at a lower cost. You can keep the carpet in the bedrooms where it's less likely to impact your home's marketability or value. But by updating your floors to LVP in these key areas, you can significantly improve how buyers perceive your home and increase your chances of a higher price. Buyers really hate walking into a home that isn't clean. A dirty house can quickly turn them off. When your home is spotless, it not only appears larger and fresher, but also suggests meticulous maintenance, making it more appealing at first glance. Keeping your home in pristine condition goes beyond just making a good first impression. It also has practical implications during the appraisal process. While the appraiser's main focus is on the structural and functional aspects of the house, a clean and tidy home can subconsciously influence their overall perception of the property's value. To ensure your home appeals to the maximum number of buyers and to make a favorable impression during the appraisal inspection, deep cleaning is a must. This includes cleaning your baseboards. Yes, your baseboards accumulate grime and dust over years, door trims, windows, and even mildew on the tiles in the showers. Make sure all areas are accessible and well presented. Even if cleaning doesn't directly increase the appraised value, a well-kept home typically sells faster and can command a higher price simply because it's more desirable to buyers. By maintaining a clean home, you remove any hurdles that might distract from its best features, enhancing both its marketability and potential sales price. Also, clean homes photograph better, which is crucial in online listings where buyers start their search. Ultimately, a spotless home creates a positive atmosphere, instills confidence in potential buyers, and can lead to a quicker and more profitable sale. Having pets around during home showings can really turn off potential buyers. Many people are allergic or scared of animals, which can make them uncomfortable or prevent them from fully exploring the house. When I started in real estate 20 years ago in 2004, I used to be terrified of dogs. No matter how cute and small they were, I was just afraid of them. I don't know why. This did change for me over the years, but many people still have these fears. Pets can also distract visitors from seeing all the great features of your home if they're running around and seeking attention. Plus, 
not all humans are created equal, some can get easily distracted and accidentally leave the door open, risking your pet running off. It's just not worth the risk. To ensure you are showing those smoothly, it's a good idea to have your pets taken care of elsewhere. This also creates a welcoming environment that lets buyers focus on the potential of your home and allow your realtor to do their job without any problems. The last things most buyers hate when looking at homes is having the seller present during showings. When sellers are there, it can make buyers very uncomfortable and prevent them from freely discussing the home and asking questions. This can hinder their ability to imagine themselves living in the space and ultimately reduce their interest. I remember one time a seller started enthusiastically talking about all the DIY repairs he had done over the years, thinking it showed pride of ownership. However, this actually made the buyers worry about the quality of work and whether it had been done to code, leading to more questions and opening a can of worms that ultimately turned them off from making an offer. So trust your realtor to handle the showings. They know how to highlight the best features of your home and address any concerns professionally. Leaving the home allows buyers to speak openly with the realtor, increasing the chances of a sale. It also ensures buyers can discuss and negotiate terms more comfortably, leading to more genuine interactions and better offers. By stepping out, you avoid unnecessary stress and allow the realtor to manage the showings smoothly. And there you have it guys, the top 10 things buyers hate when looking at houses. From bad smells and dirty homes to pets during showings and personal clutter, these issues can significantly impact how buyers perceive your property. By addressing these common turnoffs, you can make your home more appealing, increase its marketability, and potentially boost your sale price. Once again, thanks for watching. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more real estate tips. See you in my next video.